This is a guide video on defeating Estuary Lamech, the first boss in Rogue Legacy 2. Before you can challenge Estuary Lamech, you must already acquire the Air Dash ability from the Ananx Shawl Heirloom. As it is the prerequisite to opening the door to Lamech's room. You can search for the Ananx Shawl Heirloom in Citadel Agartha. There is another heirloom in Citadel Agartha named the Aesop's Tome. Although it is not a prerequisite for challenging Estuary Lamech, the Aesop's Tome can help you gain bonus damage against him later on. When you have the power to read memory from Aesop's Tome, search for the Unique Chamber in Citadel Agartha. The Unique Chamber would have many hanging red lanterns which you can jump onto it to get to the top of the room. The top of the room would contain a treasure chest. The unique chamber also has an exclamation mark if you see it from the map. Once you find the room, jump to the middle part of the room and cast your spell to the left wall. It will open an entrance to the Tower of Lights. Enter the door and climb until you see a memory fragment on top of the tower. After reading the memory, you will gain a 15% damage bonus against Estuary Lamech. Now, you are ready to fight Estuary Lamech. The room to Estuary Lamech's chamber is a big room with a door between two red lanterns. And in the background, you can see a pile of knight armors. To open the door, you must spin kick the two lanterns without touching the ground. Use your air dash after lighting the first lamp. When both lanterns are lit, the door to Estuary Lamech Chamber will open. To defeat Estuary Lamech, you need to have an understanding of how to react to Lamech's attack pattern. Estuary Lamech owns several weapons. And with each weapon, Lamech will do a specific unique attack. First, the spear. Lamech will do a thrust attack while dashing toward you. When you see Lamech's spear, be prepared to jump over him. Second, the sword. With it, he will slash twice, and on the second slash, there will be bursts of blue smoke. When you see Lamech lifting up his sword, dash away from him. Attack when the blue smoke is out. Be careful when you are cornered, best find a way to dash over him to switch sides. If you don't, you won't have enough room to dodge the sword's attack. Although it is way too risky, you can slip between the bursts to avoid damage. It is much safer if you just keep your distance. Third, the axe. Lamech will jump and spin his axe while in the air. When he lands, the ground will spit magma rocks into the air. To counter it, just walk under the curvature of the jump. And attack when he lands. Fourth, the knives. He will summon knives and throw them at you several times. When you see his knives, put some distance and time your jump. You can attack after the last throw. Fifth, the staff. There are two attack types regarding the staff. But don't worry, you will be able to differentiate them easily by watching how the animation goes. When Lamech summons his staff, and there is a blue aura around him, he will shoot magic fireballs in a spiraling motion. To handle it, just dodge between each fireball. The other move for the staff is, you will see part of the room turning slightly red. Then a huge beam of energy will fill the once red area. When you see that red area, immediately dash close to where Lamech is standing. And you can keep attacking Lamech while waiting for the beam to go off. At half health, Lamech will become enraged. The area around his body will turn red, and a shockwave explosion will occur, followed by a bunch of homing fireballs chasing at you. When you see the red area around his body, simply move away. 
The fireballs, though, are quite annoying but are evadable. If you have the talent required to destroy fireball or reduce damage, it's safer to use it. But if you don't, then you need to make the fireball hit the floor or wall to make it go off. After the enraged phase, Lamech's attack will gain power-ups. But the pattern is still the same. Just keep reading the pattern and act accordingly. Be patient, don't force yourself to attack in an unfavorable situation. Now for the remaining of the video, you can try to train yourself to predict which attack will come out by observing their initial animation pattern. Train well and good luck! watching. Please like and subscribe if you find this video interesting.